Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I have here an HP touchpad running CyanogenMod Mod 7.1 Alpha, which is a version of Android that's been ported to the tablet. And this here is a game emulator. It's, uh, I'm playing a version of Final Fantasy VII for the uh, PlayStation. And I've gotten to the point where you're supposed to choose a name for yourself, so let me just do that. Uh, so, it's a uh, PlayStation game, which I happen to have a copy of. There are, of course, other ways to get copies of these games, but let's not talk about that. Uh, but meanwhile, you can see that there's on-screen controls that you can use to play the game. And if you switch, you get the game window in a smaller window, and the controls are easier to see. Or, if you do it in this mode, they're right here. But there's another interesting thing you can do, which is pair a Bluetooth device like a Wiimote and use that instead. Now, using the Wiimote is not perfect here because um, while the directional pad works pretty well, the uh, buttons are not lined up exactly the same as a PlayStation controller. And I have to remember which one I assigned to X, which one I assigned to Circle and Y, uh, uh, Triangle, and so forth. So, anyways, here's a, a quick look at how it works here. And you can map the buttons using the FPSC um, controller, which is what I'm using right now, by going into Settings, choosing Input, and then you choose Hardware Keys, and you say Up, should be Up, Right, should be Right, Down, should be Down, and so on and so forth. And you should be able to do that with other emulators for Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, etc. Now, in order to get the uh, Wiimote to work properly, though, you're going to need to turn on Bluetooth, and make sure that you have an application that can pair a Wiimote. So, for instance, I'm using an application called Wiimote Control, which is available, or Wiimote Controller, which is available as a free download from the Android market. Now, the first time you try to run this, what you're going to need to do is uh, pair your Bluetooth controller. Um, the way most people say to do this is to hold down the 1 and 2 buttons while you choose the Init and Connect button. I didn't have any luck with that, but what I was able to do was press the reset button here, makes everything sort of go flashy, hit init and reconnect, or in connect, let's try uh, that again, and it should search, and then it'll say done and pulling data, and you know it's working because then every time you press a button, you'll see something on here. Now before you can use it with a game system or a game emulator, you're still going to need to go in and switch from Android keyboard to Wii Controller IME. Um, now what happens is if you do that and then try to go use another application, for instance, say I want to search on the Android market, now I can't get a keyboard. I'm using the Wiimote instead. So when you're done playing a game, you're going to want to go back in and select Wii Controller IME uh, this time switch back to the Android keyboard. Um, there are some applications, I believe, which will let you automatically disconnect. So yeah, switch off after disconnect. Um, so, you know, that might save you a little bit of time. But overall, it's a, it's a pretty nifty way to control some games using a physical controller. Um, I found that the uh, PlayStation emulator, for instance, seems to work really nicely on this app, on this tablet, but the um, on-screen controls are a little bit tricky because you don't really have that sense of tactile feel, and it's easy not to look in the right place or to have problems moving. A uh, role-playing game like Final Fantasy VII works re reasonably well because you don't have to do things super fast. You're not going to get hit by somebody if you don't hit them back in time, for instance, like you would with an action game or a first-person shooter. Um, but some other games, uh, you know, uh, like those first-person shooters, are going to be harder to play with just the on-screen keyboard controls. And so um, using something like a Wiimote could really, could really help you out. Um, the game emulators, uh, some of them are available for free, some of them cost some money. Uh, most of the Bluetooth controls uh, for, the, for the Wiimote, I've noticed, are free. There's also uh, something called Six Axis, which lets you control a, um, a PlayStation 
controller, a wireless controller for a PlayStation as well. And uh, that I think costs a couple of dollars, but it's also available from the Android market. So uh, that's just showing you how this works with the HP touchpad running Google Android. Should work similarly with a number of other Android tablets that have Bluetooth capabilities. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.